Okay, Coach Anderson. So, uh, yeah, man, uh, unprecedented events happening. Um, I heard a thing this morning on the radio. They played the NCAA basketball championships through World War II. This is the first time in over 80 years they've canceled it. Uh, I think same thing goes for your guys' tournament. This is unprecedented. Um, where were you yesterday when you guys found out they were canceling the tournament? Well, at some point, I, I had gone home, and uh, my, my administrator said, listen, this is what we think is going to happen. Don't tell your athletes until it's announced. We'll either tell you when you can tell them or, um, you know, we'll make contact with them. But, you know, it was later in the afternoon. We had we had a morning practice, so we had a, a 10 o'clock practice because we're not in school, and we figured we'd get it out of the way. Um, so I, I had, at some point, I was just mentally and physically exhausted and it was at the point where I, I felt beat down and run down. I, I went home. I went home around 3 o'clock yesterday. Um, we had two kids on campus on Tuesday night and Wednesday night. They were both. Visits. I was with them. Well, they were scheduled. They were, they were flights that we had. And one kid was from New York to the kids from um, Colorado. So they had, we had flown in. I talked to my administrators. Do I say, hey, listen, do I, do I keep these? They said, just everything's status quo as far as visits. Make sure they they they're aware of the university and what's going on with it. So I did, and they were all real excited to come. So I thought it was with recruits both nights until about eight forty five nine o'clock at night. Went home next morning, got back up with them, came in the office early, spent the day with them, and then it happened again the next day. So I had two back to back, and you know I didn't get to bed until three o'clock in the morning on uh, on Monday. So it's just been a really long week for me. So did you tell your two guys because you got McNally and you got. Uh... Mac champion Tim Rooney, right? Did yep, you tell yep. them together? Did you tell them separately? How did you break the news? Well, we have a thread. We use a group, man. We use all communication with our team on it. So if there's something that's happening on that thread, I, I, I indicate to him. But one of the guys on the team put on the thread, hey, we've heard uh, the NCAA tournament's over. Is that is that fact or, or fact or fiction? And at that point, I – didn't really know how to respond. And then McNally texts me and eventually goes, so is it over? And then literally Rooney texts me and said, is it over? So I, I put them both on a group text, text them, text them just my thoughts. And then I actually called them about 20 minutes later after I talked to my administrator just to confirm everything. So it seems like kids, I think I knew and I wanted to tell my athletes, but my, my administrator said, don't say anything until it's official. And then I'll let you know. So what they found out before, I was able to tell them, and it all happened over text, which is the last way I, I wanted it to go down. But at some point, I got on the phone with Rooney, I got on the phone with McNally, and, and just talked to him. Asking Stutzman and Greenlee today, I talked to both of them. Uh, it sounds like there's talk, and it's gaining traction about these sixth years, about another year for guys. I like got Tim Rooney's a Mac champ for you. It's really a mixed bag from the coaches, the four or five coaches I've talked to. It's a mixed bag as to what people want to do. How do you feel about extending a year, getting guys a year back? Well, the question is, who do you get a year back? Do the, only the seniors get a, back, a year back? Does McDowell get a year back? Do all the freshmen get a year Like, who gets the year back, first of all? That's the first thing. Second thing is, scholarship-wise, I think we're, we're missing it. If we're worried about that, I think as, as an organization, we're worried about the wrong thing. I, I think our biggest concern, at least my biggest concern, is right now is that we're not having a basketball tournament that brings in billions of dollars to the NCAA. That money all trickles down, and that's how we function as a university, from that basketball money. So now all of a sudden, we didn't have this. What's going to happen to wrestling? And, and you know, I'm worried about it at Kent State. If I'm worried about it at Kent State, I can tell you there's a lot more schools that should be worried about it at other schools. You know, our enrollment's going to be down. This is definitely going to – this is going to affect our schools in so many ways. You know, we're, we're affected by NCAA basketball and enrollment. Our enrollments are going to go down. People are going to say, well, I'm not sending my kid to school for a few a year or something. I'm going to wait. So that's going to really affect us. So if I'm worried about getting Tim Rooney a year back, I'm, I'm hoping we have wrestling. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that there's a there's a, a match tournament to go to next year and there's a national championship to go to for Kent State. That's what I'm hoping for. I'll worry about all the other stuff later. Where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? I mean, you, you just basically touched on it. But where do we go from here? Where do you go from here? Where does the Mid-American Conference go from here? Where does Kent State go from here? What do you do? I I hope I really hope that at some point the, the university or the people just take a step back and and we figure out how, ways to make it because you know I just I just talked to one of our big donors who called me from Pittsburgh. He owns a restaurant. He's owned this restaurant for forty. It's been in his family for for forty nine years. 
he's concerned about his restaurant because people aren't coming in. So, you know, it's a, it's a, it's something that's real through the whole country. It's not just me and wrestling or, or, or this guy in his restaurant, it's everything. I would think that, you know, that most people, you know, my, my fiance just got a brand new job that deals with selling things. She can't go out and sell right now. So she's going to be affected by it at some point. So this is going to affect everybody. As far as where we go, I just, I think we got to take a step back and see, hopefully this takes care of itself as far as, uh, you know, the, 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 this, I don't, don't want to say it's going to go away because it's never going to go away, but hopefully we can get a, a, can, a handle on it and, and figure out what's going to happen next winter when, when we start getting this all over again, I think. I, I don't know. There's so many different ways to, to look at this, and it's a very confusing time for not only me, but every, you know, with, with my kids and with my fiancé and with my wrestlers and everybody. I, I don't know how to answer that for you, Zeb. <laughs> John Stutzman told me his big main concern is his mom in Florida – um, I forget what he said she has, but, you know, she has something like a health ailment. That was his big concern. He's like, I'm worried about my mom and, you know, down in Florida. That was his big concern. My mom and dad are down in Florida. You know, your mom is probably the down same age as my mom. Right? Yep. If she, my mom's pretty healthy, knock on wood, but, you, you know, she's still she's still an older person down in Florida. So, yeah, um, you know, I think those are that's a whole other concern that you have. You know, there's so many concerns that you have as a person and a, as as a father, as an educator, as a coach, and as a you know a son. So that's another one of them. All right, coach. It, it's it's a very confusing time. What do you do for the next three weeks? Well, that's you know, I was in my I was in my office today. I went there today, and I had to finalize some things. I had to cancel some 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 buses for the national tournament and do different things. And I sat there. At some point, you know, I told Danny and Sean to stay back, not to worry about coming in. I, I handled everything. Um, at some point, I texted him. I said, "Let's get get in the office on Monday and start figuring out." I had a recruit that uh, this is this is pretty ironic. I had a recruit that contacted me today. He's a he's a top five or top ten guy in the country, and he's a local guy. And he contacted me. He goes, "Listen, everything that's going on, and, and you know, last time I talked to him was probably after the Iron Man. He, I, you know, trying to get get a hold of him, trying to." He pretty much said he wasn't interested in Kent State. It wasn't a school that he was thinking about going to. And I'm like, all right, no problem. That changes. Let me know. Today, I got a text from him that said, Coach, I uh, everything is going on. Me and my parents think it would be really, really a good idea to, to look more into Kent and maybe think about schools that are much closer to me. And, you know, I, for a second, you get kind of excited about it. And I responded with them. There's nothing we can really do until, you know, there's a, there's a ban on any kind of visits, official, unofficial visits. April 15th, until, right? Till April 15th? It, yeah, April fifteenth for sure. You know, Kent State just closed school for the rest of the semester, so we are no not no longer coming back. So April fifteenth, am I going to be allowed to have kids on campus, even though we can't have students on campus? So I don't know if that's that's on a legitimate date or if it's just an NCA date. And if the NCA says yes, you can have kids on, is Kent State can let me have a kid on campus? So that's a, just a number that's thrown out there. But here's you know here's an opportunity to top rank recruit in the country that wants to stay home that I'm really excited about, but I can't really do anything with them. So I, you know, set, second after he sent him, I called him up and said, uh, you know, here, here's the situation with all schools, but we'll be in touch with you. We'll stay in contact. And as soon as that day we get our campus, we'll get you up. And he's like, sounds great. My parents are excited about it. You know, and he had some Kensley connections with his family. So it's, it's, it's you know, it's encouraging. But the other, other end of it, you know, we, we plan on having four or five kids come up in a few weeks here that we can't get. Um, this is going to push back other recruits as far as juniors. Um, so it's, like I said, it's gonna it's gonna give you three weeks off, but at, at the end of uh, on the other side, when we're allowed to do things, it's gonna make us ten times busier. And with programs like the MAC, where you only have three coaches, and you don't have a secretary, you don't have a director of operations, you don't have a recruiting coordinator. Once again, I think we're the schools that'll end up getting the, the bottom end of it, if that makes sense. All right, coach. Well, I mean, yeah, man. It, I, I think everybody's in a, in a horrible position now. If that makes you feel any better. Oh yeah, just not us. No, no, I, yeah, I totally everybody's in a bad spot. Yeah, but hey, yeah. Um, well, hey, man, thank it, you for the time. You, you got anything else for me? It'll be real interesting with the NCA because, like I said, there's a lot of seniors out there that you know I can think of. Right off the top of my head, Colin Moore from Ohio State, who's done put in so much time and so much energy and plan on winning a national title this year. Is not getting that opportunity? Does he get get to do it next year? You know, I can tell you, Tim Rooney. You know, he's he's planning on being a doctor. Um, this is this is just a yeah, stepping stone as far as his education. He extended his education so he could wrestle a fifth year. 
he's not extending his education to wrestle a sixth year. I can guarantee you that. Um, but a kid like McNally, I'd love to have him for another year. I don't know if that's what's going to happen or not, but uh, we'll wait and see. And the NCAA has got some things to figure out when this all is cleared up. And I think, you know, I think schools are going to have a lot to get to figure out also when things get cleared up. Well, Coach, man, I appreciate the time. Stick around. I got a little B-roll for you afterwards. But thanks for the time, man. And uh, good luck to you guys moving forward, all right? Keep getting it done, Zeb. Keep getting it done. Hey, did you did you like my barbarian apparel? Uh, you like well, busting my chops, huh? No, no, I was being serious. This is one of those, so yesterday was a miserable day. You know, like it just seemed like the new – actually, since about Tuesday, the, the, the information that we've gotten has become more and more depressing in my opinion. So I'm sitting there rolling through uh, Facebook, and then here's you opening opening these shirts and just opening that box and just throwing the shirts on. And actually, it was probably the first time yesterday I just sat and giggled watching you do it. So that's why I said I enjoyed your video. It made me laugh. And like I said, there wasn't a whole lot to laugh about or, or to, to giggle about. Now, that, that video made me giggle yesterday. So thank you for cheering up my day for, for a small moment in time. All right. I want to tell you how you've cheered my day up. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready for it. You're not – you're wearing earplugs, not oh, earbuds. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I can't. Why wear are you wearing earplugs? You are supposed, gonna, you're supposed to have earbuds. Have, look, look. You're supposed to have these. These. Yeah, I do have those. They're just different. Those don't fit in my ear. So what do you have in your ears right now? They're, 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 they're. What do you? They're, their music, music goes to them. They plug in. Look. Oh, those are? I, I thought they were earplugs. No, 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 no. They're ear. <laughs> they're, they're, they just, I have to get the squishy ones because I have problems with my ear. And those ones that you have in your hand fit my ears. Oh, so, I so good. These, like, are the only, these are the only earphones that I can use. The I just, I thought they were earplugs. I thought those were like sound no. earplugs. Do you understand? No, Let I, me see them again. Yeah, I, no, <laughs> Here, I'll pull them up. And those those have sound. They have little speakers in them. What are they, those? What's that? What's that brand? I don't. I, I my my fiance bought them. I want I, them. I, I, I'll get you a pair. They're easy to find online. I, I want them. Buy them online. Just tell I me. Know. I can buy them. I got like money and a job and everything. <laughs> yeah, I know, but they're hard to find. It's one of, you got to get them on Amazon. Okay. All right, Big Jim. Thanks for the time. Good luck to you guys moving forward, all right? Hey, buddy, I'll talk to you. Keep, keep doing what you're doing, Zeb. All right. Talk to you later.